The wind blows snow off the ground, turning the wintry sky into a gray. So cold I can't feel a thing, yet in everything I feel pain. The blood freezes as it runs down my face and my arm, and as I look at my brothers, buried beneath the white blanket. I hear the enemy just beyond the fog, and I know that I must fight. So with shield on arm and sword in hand, I stand my ground with a mighty cry. But before I can, our still touches, I feel the cold pierce my heart, and I fall to my cold, cold grave below. Good evening, my name is Lance Cobble Hope, United States Marine Corps. Um, I'm here to talk about my favorite hobby, which is poetry writing. So as King David in the Bible, as he wrote Psalms, he wrote the book of Psalms, he would write Psalms, poems, songs, whatever it, it was, he would write it to express himself to God, to express his feelings when he was going through trials and tribulations, when he had a joyous time in his life, he would write it to express himself to God. And for me, that became something that I did. So growing up, I started writing poems because I, growing up, I was going, I was struggling with, I struggled with depression, I struggled with a lot of stuff, and I was going through hard, hard times. I just did not know what to do. So I started writing poems to express myself because I couldn't talk to anybody. Every time I tried to talk to somebody, it just wouldn't go nowhere. So I started writing poems to express myself. But it became more than that because when I went off to boot camp, it is draining. I'm mentally drained. I'm physically drained. I want to quit at the end of the day, but I still had to keep going. So for me, whenever I was down there doing 100 push-ups because somebody didn't tie their boots right because they're an idiot, I had to find the courage to continue doing those push-ups. So what I did, I started reading poems to myself. I started reading my poems that I wrote. I started writing new ones, but it became something bigger because eventually I started seeing other people feeling down to. Other people, my fellow recruits that weren't wanting to continue on, they were wanting to quit. So I started going like, hey man, I got, hey, I got to write a new poem. I need an idea. Tell me something. And he'll give me an idea, and I'll write a poem for him. And then I'll start writing poems for our squad. And then whenever I, we graduated boot camp, and I was in North Carolina and in Missouri, when I was out there, I started writing poems for people when they were just in a hard time and they were away from family. And it became not just a hobby for me, but it became my passion. Because my poems don't just help me anymore. As the Psalms in the Bible, as the book of Psalms is not just for King David anymore because he's long dead, he's been dead over 2,000 years. As those Psalms aren't just for him anymore, they're for me and you to read and find something in them, something to help us. I want my poems not to just be for me, but for be everyone around them that needs something else. Thank you, any questions? Yes. Did you know you like writing poems before you got into the military? Yes, I did. I liked. I always loved, like, my family was really annoyed at me and really mad at me because I always loved, when we watched movies and listened to music, I was like, oh, you know, this could also mean this and this and this. You know, I was, I was the English teacher of my family, even though I can't write worth a lick. And so I always liked to find a deeper meaning in everything. I loved, like, I was like straight. I loved onions. And um, there was this, <laughs> this is one of those things for me. And so in middle school, I started writing poems because I wanted to write something with a deeper meaning. And I started doing that, and it just became a bigger and bigger thing now. That's cool, man. Um, what was your favorite poem that you ever wrote about? Um, that is one of them right there. Um, I don't know. I can't recite them right off the top of my head because I have I have a bunch. I have over 150. But I know two of them that I've written recently are my favorite short line poems. I got one that's two lines, one that's four lines. The two liner is. I go to fight all hell tonight, to live or die, I fight tonight. And my four-liner is, I go now into this dark night, to live or die, this night will decide, so now I go into this night. And so like, those are my two favorite like short poems, because it just gives me something like, hey, you know, this might be my last night, or like, you don't know when you last night, so make it mean something to you, you know, so those are like two of my favorite short poems. Any other questions? Thank you.